Hello my bullet journaling friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm Yuna and I create journaling and lifestyle videos. For today's video, we will be setting up my 2020 journal. In previous videos, I showed you how to create your very own digital journal and now we're going to be setting it up. So without further ado, grab your tea, a snack and of course your journals. May it be ink or digital and let's get on to planning. For the year 2020, I'm planning to design my spread with peonies. Here are draft drawings or sketches on my GoodNotes app of how I would want my 2020 journal to look like. As you already know, I prefer my drawings to be done on my Procreate app. So leaving my GoodNotes app, let's now proceed to my Procreate app. I haven't gotten into the whole create your own brush pens just yet so for now I'll be using the standard pens that has always been available in the app. I'm simply recreating my drawings into a more cleaner look also adjusting any uneven shapes to make my cover page look nicer in a way <laughs> i'm also adding a few different sizes of the peonies making my cover page much more pleasing to look at What I'm doing now is adding a borderline at the bottom just because I feel like my cover page is still missing a little something. All I'm doing is taking my drawing from earlier and duplicating it to different sizes and just aligning it to a position that I would like and then simply filling it with the exact colors that I used earlier. Here is my cover page done. I like how the colors matches my journal skin. It looks put together and chic just like the way I wanted it to be. Now proceeding to the next page which is my 2020 tab. In here I plan to set up my year in a glance page but first I have to set up my 2020 calendar and my calendar key at the very front of the tab and just continue on from there. I'm actually still debating whether or not I would add the sign on my year in a glance or just make it simple as possible 
but what do you guys think so far? Do you design your journals until it looks full or do you prefer it to look as simple as possible? Leave me a comment down below. my 2020 tab done as you saw earlier i downloaded my calendar from pinterest and copied the key design from my traveler's journal onto here i also added a bit of color all around to make it look more alive and again pretty enough to look at in a monthly weekly basis i don't know let's see next year how often i'll be able to skim to this page For my year in a glance page, I decided to keep it simple but still add a little something something to it. So I got the border drawing that I made for my cover page earlier and added it into the bottom part of my year in a glance. I mean it's simple but it still looks very chic. I added the calendars one by one and tbh my hand got sore after finishing. I had to take a few minutes to rest my hand before continuing to my last spread. This is something I can't just simply copy and paste since the days move each month. Oh, by the way, you might be wondering, but sobrang advanced naman ni Ate Girl. Wala pang 2020, may 2021 agad siya. <laughs> well, of course, I want to be prepared for whatever to come. For sure, I'm not the only one. So, after my year in a glance pages, I added another page for my 2021 calendar and an empty page at its side for future ideas that will come to mind. So, yun lang, para lang prepared, may para lang siyang ano um what do you call this uh mind brain dump it's more of a brain dump brain dump kind of page for my 2021 ideas so for you guys din naman siya for future youtube video ideas <laughs> so yeah that's the purpose of this page uh, just in case you guys are wondering and of course, hindi ito mawawala. For my last spread, a simple code page to end this 2020 journal setup. I found this quote on Pinterest and it reads, You can rise up from anything. You can completely recreate yourself. Nothing is ever permanent. You are not stuck. You have choices. You can think new thoughts. You can learn something new. You can create new habits. All you have to do is decide the day and never look back. I think this quote or message is very inspirational for me to look at just before the new year comes.
just want to mention this before this video comes to an end. I might change the 2020 calendar in the near future. I'm planning to create my very own, so to be posted on that, simply follow me on Instagram and DM me saying that my video brought you there and I'll simply give you a copy of my 2020 calendar. It's just as simple as that, so if you do want a copy, um, make sure to do as so. And if you're not busy and all, make sure to subscribe down below as well. Thank you guys! And of course, with that done, that completes my 2020 journal setup, but no worries, there are a few more spreads that I have to work on, so to be posted on that, make sure to subscribe down below and do click on the bell button to be updated for my next video. Again, don't forget to send me a DM over at Instagram to let me know if you guys want a copy of my 2020 calendar. Like this video or give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time. Bye guys!